Hi, I'm Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management. One of the most important features we've added to Analysis Workspace with this release in Fall 2015 is the ability to curate components within a project. Sometimes when you build a project, you want to share it with other people, and you don't want them to have access to all of the dimensions, all of the metrics, and all of the segments that are available to you in Adobe Analytics. That can be really overwhelming for users, especially those of your users who aren't analysts and maybe aren't as familiar with your implementation. Uh, but, of course, you still want those users to have all of the flexibility of Analysis Workspace, where they can do their breakdowns, do their comparisons, um, change their visualizations, all of, all of that great stuff. So we've added this ability to curate. In this example, I've built a basic project that we'll say is for my merchandising team. It's got a cohort analysis and some visualizations in here. Pretty, pretty simple stuff, but it'll, it'll work for this example. So I can come in in my project to curate components up in the top bar. And when I do that, I get this, uh, this area that, that drops down from the top. And I can add the, pro the dimensions, metrics, segments, and even date ranges for comparison that are relevant in this project. Um, so because this is the merchandising team, I want to add a bunch of product-related stuff. So I can search in here and maybe add some of these product dimensions and some of these product-related uh, metrics. And I can just drag those over and drop them. And you'll see that the number of dimensions and metrics uh, here increased. And you've got, so you've got two dimensions. You can click on dimensions, metrics, or segments here, and you'll see uh, dimensions or, or metrics or segments that are italicized are actually used in the project itself as you've built it. So those aren't available to be removed. Uh, but the other ones that I just added, I could, of course, remove those if I decide that I don't want to make those available in this project. Um, and I could do the same for metrics uh, as well. And I could, I could add additional segments. Let me actually uh, do that. I'll add a US visits segment in here as well. And let's see, I think I have loyal visitors. We'll add those here. And when I hit done, uh, you should notice that this area on the left will actually change to reflect uh, what we've added. I'm actually going to remove some of these metrics so that it's even more visible. Because you'll see that this list of five metrics that is shown by default will decrease down to four. So I hit done. And sure enough, the metrics that are listed that are available for me are only the metrics that I've defined as the project owner for inclusion in this project. And if I look at the list of dimensions, I only have those five available to me. So when I do a search, my list will be much, much shorter now. Um, now this works for me as well. If I curate a project, it'll be curated for me, for me as well as for those that I share it with. So as an analyst, if I want to have access to everything, um, I may want to save a separate copy of the project. Uh, you also do have the ability uh, to um, see some of the other dimensions uh, if, you, if you absolutely uh, want to. But um, generally speaking, for these things that are available here in the, uh, in the draggable stack here on the left side, um, those, will be, those will be the items that I curated for my users as well. So now that I have created a curated project, and I'll look at segments as well, so I only have these six segments available, um, it's, it's worth noting that uh, my users will be able to, to do any of these breakdowns. So I could break down product name by, by product season, for example. And I've got all of those selected, so that's going to kind of blow out that table a little bit. Um, I, I have the ability to work with this thing just as flexibly as, uh, as I could with an uncurated project, but, uh, but I can only work within the bounds that I have, have set up as part of curation. Um, so that's, that's kind of the point of curation uh, there. Now, now that I've curated the thing, I want to share it with my merchandising team. So I just come in here to share, and I can give it a different name if I want to, give it a description, and add some tags like merchandising. And, uh, and I can add recipients, and there's my merchandising team, so I'm going to share it with them. And uh, sure enough, that is now uh, saved out. Now they will access it by going to Analysis Workspace here on the left, and they will have access to that project. Uh, if you haven't given them access, uh, the recipients, if you haven't given them access to Analysis Workspace in full, 
They won't be able to create new projects, but they will be able to load up the ones that you've built for them and curated for them and shared with them. And by so doing, they, sh they will hopefully be able to better self-serve with data and, uh, and, and obtain their own insights by working in this safe, curated environment that's really tailored to their needs. And that's curation and sharing in analysis workspace.